Hello and welcome to another episode of Ask the Experts. I'm Rachel Landry and today we're joined by Jeff Hatzel, a product manager here at the company. Today, Jeff will be talking to us about the new mobile data management tool in Global Mapper Pro. All right, Jeff, take it away. Hi, Rachel. I'm excited to be back today to talk about some of the new uh, mobile data merging functionality that's come to uh, Global Mapper Pro in version 24. So to start, I'm going to go ahead and open the mobile data management tool. Um, the tool itself has been around for a version or two now, and we're continually expanding on its functionality. So new for version 24 Pro is the ability to conduct a package file import, and more specifically, to have the ability to approve and reject changes that may have been made in the field. So what we're going to do today is start and load some data. Now, I just happen to have a couple files here, but I'm actually going to change these. And I'm choosing a file that I edited in the field, and I'm going to compare that to um, the original file that was sent out to me by my data provider. Um, so the real utility is here, you know, you may be someone in the office who's prepping data, you can send that data out into the field, and then when your field user sends it back to you, you can review their changes. So once I've chosen my from file or my edited file, and then what we call the to file, the original file that we're going to keep as our master, uh, I'm going to go ahead and load them. And so the layout here is fairly simple. What I see is that my data set had two layers. So the raster layer here uh, just was a OpenStreetMaps base map file that I brought out into the field. Uh, there was no change there. That's why by default, this layer is not highlighted. Now, where I do have a change is in the second layer, my vector data layer, because when I was out in the field, I recorded uh, some new parking meter information into a feature template that I was sent. And so when I expand this, we really have the ability to drill down as far as we want. Um, I may not go all the way down today, but we could see, you know, attributes, vertices, individual um, feature notations and things like that. So my lines in my area features were, I didn't create any, so nothing changed there. And I can see my points, I have a little question mark and it's, it's expandable. Now when I expand that, I can see, okay, in the field I made three edits. Um, my source file doesn't have that. There's no match for that since I didn't create anything in the office. And then when I was out in the field, I created three point features. If I wanted, I could drill down through all of these. I can see position information, label information. I could expand further to attribute information. And generally what we'll see is the source file has no matches because this was created in the field. So I could go through individually and, and choose to keep or ignore those changes. Uh, but for this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the top level and choose keep all. And that will confirm that any of the field changes that I've created, I'm going to keep as part of my merge. I do have a couple options down here. I could choose to um, show only differences so I can completely ignore uh, anything that hasn't changed. This becomes useful if we you know, had someone in the field who recorded a lot of data um, and you know, spaces at a premium. So you don't need to see things that don't change. And then I always like to have this bottom checkbox, always load after merge set. That just allows me to quickly uh, view the data that I've updated right in Global Mapper. So once that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and choose merge. All I need to do there is, is save an output file. Uh, let's see, I've done a couple of sample of these before. So we'll call this with Jeff edits since I did this field work and then go ahead and save it basic uh, mobile file creation options. And now I can go ahead and load that into the application. Now what we'll see is in my template layer, my parking meter layer, which was blank when I got it in the field, I created three edits. I can see those points on my open street map. And I think with one of these, I even took a picture and that picture should have come back as well. And now I have a picture of um, that broken parking meter here. So this is a parking meter that was broken, uh, which I wanted to record a picture of. So let me just go ahead and close this window. There we go. 
but I can see all of the associated information with that feature as well. So when I was out in the field, I recorded my name, the height of the pole, whether or not it was functional, we can see where the image is saved and the unique identifier that helps us track our changes. So if I wanted to, um, you know, maybe I'm gonna go ahead and I've since gotten data from somebody else out in the field. What I'm going to do is, so I just chose to unload my data there. It wasn't necessary, um, but I like starting from scratch. So now I'm gonna make a couple changes here. So my file now from the field is from um, John here and John made some different edits. He was working on a different block than I was. Uh, and now I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna merge to um, the file I just created. So it already has all of my edits kept. Uh, again, a very similar process. Of course here right now I have show differences only selected. So I'm not seeing anything that didn't change. Um, John made a few more points here, uh, or a few less points I should say. And now you'll see my original points that I created have already been saved. So they're part of the source file, but not part of the new file. Uh, again, we're just going to go ahead and keep all. We'll see a little notification as to whether my, my source or my target was kept. So anything pointing to the left is the to column, and anything pointing to the right is the from column or from the, from the new file. Merging again, and maybe I'll call this Jeff John edits and then go ahead and save it. It should load automatically now into Global Mapper. And we'll see now I have two more um, parking meter points that John recorded in the field. We'll take a look at one of those perhaps. Um, again, we'll see if John recorded it. This meter, ha this parking meter also happened to be one meter in height. And yes, this one was working. So just to wrap up, Rachel, um, the new mobile data merging functionality um, in the uh, mobile data management tool within Global Mapper uh, 24 Pro allows us to review field edits that users have made and accept or reject them um, to, to organize field collected data, bringing it back into the office. Uh, thanks again for having me today. I look forward to being back on Ask the Experts. Thank you, Jeff, for sharing that information with us. I know that our users will find it very useful. To learn more about Global Mapper Pro or Global Mapper Mobile, please visit bluemarblegeo.com today. And as always, thank you so much for joining us for this episode of Ask the Experts, and we hope to see you next time.